<laughs> it's not done yet. I wish there were box launches you could eat on the train. They'd be so popular. Fucking, can you not bring your own? That makes my blood boil when I lose a battle. There's so I raise and live with Rickety just because I love them so much. I've got nothing to do with flying taxis. Okay. Friends are worthless. All they do is leave and die. Remember when we thought it was going to be Chesterton that died this stream? How young and naive we were. You're interested in weather? Yes. Let me get started. If the sunlight's harsh during battle, fire time moves become more powerful. The sunlight will thaw in for us one, the immune being for us one, the weather lasts. Moves that use like someone making from one turn. The effects of some other moves also get enhanced like growth and sense of that. Certain moves like Thunder Hurricane are become less accurate. Thanks for listening to politely. Please take this. Oh, thank you. I have a, I got a damp rock from a dude in the wild area. Well, that is life. I hate life. Excuse me, what? Hell yeah, brother. Hello, Dunks. I love you. The old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember moves they've forgotten. That's crazy, huh? Dunks, who's your favorite member of the team? He says, I don't watch your content. It's shit. Thanks, Dunks. We all know that dragons guard treasure. It's definitely fitting that Raihan's the guardian of the vault. Oh! It's the dragon gym leader! Oh! That's... Something? The fourth gym leader is dragon types! You really should visit Winden sometime. People from all over the world gather there. Oh, <laughs> like Chester was like getting flashbacks and worried about the future and said they love us. That's not good. <laughs> I wonder if there's something special about people who find wishing stars. <laughs> what do we need to beat dragons? Fair your ice. Uh, uh, looks like we need uh, Chesterton to beat the dragon types. Or other... Alright, thought I walked into a fight there. Oh, this is uh, how you get in the wild area. It's pretty bonkalicious, if you know what I'm saying. I hope my friend gets here soon. I think Pito's aiming for food. What? Oh, hey, the Pokemon drum. I should pick up the latest edition. <laughs> Lay read. Life's all about restaurant hopping. I'm gonna eat all the restaurants along the... <laughs> I'm so I thought he said eat all the restaurants along the Gala Railway until I drop. We have to wait for our workers to return for our eyes tight. Maybe Missile becomes fairy. Maybe. No, they are too low level. Well, I'm gonna grind them up some. What is- oh, it's the bird. Big bird becomes- I mean, technically speaking, coughing becomes a fairy type. Oh. When a milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. Milsery has to be the pre-evolution of alchemy, right? I've heard the Pokemon the Wild Area had all sorts of things in there. Something. Apparently even odd the Pokemon to collect TRs. It's a stone statue of a Pokeball. There's rumor that if you touch it, you'll have better luck catching Pokemon. I would like to touch it. Ooh, nice. We're fucked. No, we're not. We have Chesterton. You look like someone I might trust. See, there's someone I fancy on. I've written him a love letter. Do you think he might deliver it for me? Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me. My name is Paul. Here you are. So let you deliver. Okay. Believe in Chesterton. Sorry, what? Repost list. Okay. Uh. Sorry, I have to. I have to send someone something. Strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver to Frank from won't you? Frank and Bal and Leah. That's who you want. All right, call it right now. Frank is gonna be an old man. This is his childhood sweetheart that died at a young age, and this is a ghost giving me an old letter. That's my official prediction. I'm sorry if I just spoiled that. I mean, it's not a spoiler because I don't know it for sure, but I'm sorry if you would have been, like, super surprised by that. I would like to... 
Just one second. Send list to others, view and edit, copy link, paste link, send. <laughs> Where do we go, young girl? Or he's a pedophile. A pair of wise glasses, and I'm held by one of this will boost the power of special moves. You always gotta find the worst in people, huh? Jose, you already called someone a pedo today. Starting to sound a bit like the mainstream media, Jose. And you know what we do with journalists around here. A dire hit, if you know what I'm saying. Here I go, driving down the street again. We didn't go in here. Hello, I am rich now. Do you have better hairstyles? Ah, I see they are. Exactly the same. Thank you for just taking $9,000 from me. I will wear the hat because your haircuts suck. Dunks is very thirsty, he says. Mm. He says, now I lay back down. Good night. No about loves fruit. I'm also always looking for them using ultrasonic waves. I've been to Hammerlock's gym stadium is located right in the center of the Gala region. Whoa. That's crazy. I heard that Meowth of Gala look different than Meowth of Kanto or Lola. I think it's called a regional form. A lot of people buy replica Leon's form, but nobody can wear it because the cape's too heavy. Because of all the sponsorships. Oh, look. A random Pokemon Center. We agreed to meet the Pokemon Center, but I've been here a while and so on sound. Maybe we should go check the other Pokemon Centers. I don't know who you're talking about. The gym challenge. Hey, here you're supposed to go head to Stowe on side first. Next, Bal and Leah. Surchester, Spike Muth, and then finally to Hammerlock. Wait. Oh! The dragon guy isn't next. We're just gonna loop back around here. So the dragon guy is number seven. This, it's just that the seventh gym, it's like how we looped back around to the fire gym. We're at the place with the dragon gym now. We're gonna loop back around to it by the end. Okay. I got you. I'm ready for my hike. I bought plenty of chocolate. I heard that the gym mission of Stone Side can make you right dizzy. We're gonna go talk to the people. Because I think this is progress over here. Maybe. Yeah, they're blocked off on that side. I'm just checking to see if there's a way to get a Pokemon. Hello. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. That's called battle combo moves. You want your Pokemon to learn one of them? Yes. Oh. Okay. We'll come back here later, because clearly there's nothing here for me. My five favorite Pokemon? Oh, I can't decide, she says. Oops. Get you. Oh, I can ding my bike! I call that song an ode to Trophy. Alright, we wasted a lot of time there. Hyperbox Stadium Double Session Energy Plan. Well, have a look at my tablet, but I'll be able to waste some weed on it. We in BCM was seven foot for the energy plan. Work with it via the of Amberlock Stadium Power. With a space to have put two feet of the Battleground Power Plant to deliver it to put the top of the region. But back to society because we're not the British people such as but two things back to start the bar. But but fish it boots and improve everyone's mind, but how do you buy for the booking bars? Well, it's not really different work. 
If we did move on board, we have to start to give you a better purple. We have to look and get over the bomb back. But that's not my place to the stadium, but you will find the bomb back way busy. Okay. Mr. Rose is wonderful, so gentlemanly. Sorry, only the last person I'm allowed to take the lift down to the power plant. What was that, the chairman? Here for business. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokemon to celebrate the occasion. A level ball. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon, they're at a lower level than your own Pokemon. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it'll be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises. <laughs> Home uniform shop. Hmm. These are all the exact same. What the Pokemart? Nothing I need, old man. Oh, what? You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face the dragon type. Oh! He's the last one. He's not number seven, he's number eight. Which means the missing person is just randomly in the middle somewhere. So we end with the dragon gym. That's lame. The mystery gym should have been the last one. Anyway, we have to go to where that drawbridge was. Our team is, like, healed up, right? Who's eight? The drag. The, this one right here, the dragon gym leader, is leader number eight. It's time for Nick Nast or me to start leveling up, by the way. Oh, shoot. Trey, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. <laughs> but Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. What was the mystery gym? I don't know. All, all I know is that the intro where they show all the gym leaders, there there were seven gym leaders, and they say, unfortunately, one of them could not make it. So there's a mystery gym leader that we don't know. We Like, we haven't seen him. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle. Let me tell you something. I've had some hard losses in battle. You don't see me fucking being a piece of shit. What did Hop do? No, he lost to Bede. He's being a crybaby because Bede lost him. Whereas I've lost... Two of my best friends, and the Forsaken one. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You've got to think on why it was your friends died, though. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Why doesn't Leon have a gym? Isn't he undefeated? He's the champion. You fight him at the end, I'm pretty sure. Like, you, you win the tournament, and then you fight the champion. It, they replaced the Elite Four with the with a tournament at the end, I'm pretty sure. I don't know that for sure. I know there's no Elite Four. So I presume whoever makes to the end all fight each other. Like a battle royale. Leon, you want to talk about losses, you bastard? I'll kill you. Don't, don't be mean to Leon. He's given an inspirational talk. He even said it. Losses are hard, but you have to understand why they happened and grow from it. And he's right. You know, we learned from Yamper. We learned you cannot underestimate Gigantamax moves. We learned from the Forsaken One that Stunfisk is busted. We learned absolutely nothing from Trophy's death, though. That was absolute just dog shit. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Holiana really lets me hear it when I'm late. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Trey. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way, on the way to Route 6. We learned that games like the cheat. How did Trophy die anyway? Beware used takedown and one-shotted Trophy. That's it. So, uh, I had a Pokemon out that was low on health. And I was like, okay, you're taking too much damage. Let's swap. So I swapped to Trophy, and he took a takedown and died. That's it. The Beware was level 30, by the way. So either the same level as Trophy or one lower. It was garbage. Anyway.
Enough talking about it. I don't want to be mad. I was enjoying myself. I don't want to be fucking pissed anymore. I choose you. Squish, squish, squish. Right on. It's a disadvantage in terms of time matchup, but experience is on my side. Dude, you're fucked. Talk so, talk so cool. I really, really want one. If you've got a talk so, would you please trade it for my Togepi? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Trophy diving said, What? You want me to trade you a Toxel for a Togepi? I know, Dunks. What kind of crack is she smoking in the park? Frosty, Togepi isn't one of the Pokemon that gets a new evolution, is it? Because that's the only way that makes any logical sense to me. Hey, you heard the rumor? I haven't. What? You haven't heard? There's a rumor if you give the one you like an apple and you'll be together forever. <gasps> Actually, the truth is, there's someone I like. She's gonna move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for an applin so I can get my feelings crossed the right way. But I can't find one. If you've got an applin, would you please give it to me? Fuck, dude. I want an applin, though. But I could help this dude with his love life if I had an applin. Dunks burped in my face. You want us to trade our baby for your baby? Hi, ma'am. Your baby's a lot cuter than mine. Would you like to trade babies? Bubba, do you have an issue? Do you have a commotion? Ooh, a locomotion? A uh, Mr. Stinky? He wants to go potty, so give me a second. Can we make an exception because it's a mission? No! If we get an Applin as our first encounter, we have to choose Hurt or Heal. Anyway, I'm going to go let Dunks pee. I'll be back very shortly. I'm back. Dunks is now playing in the other room. I will mute the mic when he is brought back. Chesterton is our love. She's all we need. This reminds me of the plot of Stitch for some reason, or at least the quote from it. At least tonight is not a good night. Checking something. <laughs> Thorn caught a rookie D and named it Fat Pimpin. Dude, I want to get Thorn to do some multiplayer with me at some point. Oh, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him real quick. Hey. Hit me up if you want to do some raid battles at any time. I might do those off screen. If he hits me up while we're on stream, we'll do it then. If, I, if I'm off screen, I'll still do it. And basically, if it's an encounter, I'll tell you about it. If it's not an encounter, it doesn't matter, and we'll have some candies to raise experience. That would be nice. Oh, if it isn't the... Oh, it's Rhyhon. Oh, yeah, I was going to say something. I know I said I wasn't going to go for more than five hours, which would be one hour from now. That was mostly because I feel like chat's getting tired of it. If when the time comes you want us to go one more hour, I'm willing to. I am going to stop at 10.30 regardless because I got to eat and do other stuff. But if you want this stream to go six hours, we can. But we'll worry about that when it ends. I'm just saying the options there. What is this guy's? Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What was your name again? All right, Trey. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I didn't do that. Ha, so you're here to visit our treasures, are you? Gain a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? If any of these voices get too similar, let me know. You can always make them wackier. I'm trying to fit the voice to the character. Eventually, we gotta just get into wacky voice territory. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. That's cool. When do we get fossil Pokemon? Hello. Hammerlock used to be the very center of Gala region. We keep historical treasure in the vault. What do you mean it used to be the very center? Some trophies. 
You need permission if you want to enter the vault. See ya. Guess you couldn't get any. Tron. Hey, let's look at our TMs real quick. She's cute. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, we got, we got a wacky team again. Let's take a look. Mr. Missile can learn Swift. I need to look at Mr. Missile's stats. He is a physical attacker. Not great defense. He is pretty fast, though. She is... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh, that's a Mrs. Missile. That's a Miss Missile. Miss Missile, I'm sorry, we gotta change her name later. It's Miss Missile. Alright. Ooh! Base power 80! You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't have done so. You're too kind. Absolutely, you're of agility. And it's physical! Oh, Lord! And it might flinch! Miss Missile coming up in the world. You know what? No, we're not changing it. Just because Mr. Missile is female doesn't mean they can't be Mr. Missile. Mr. Missile stays Mr. Missile. Focus energy, payday, beat up, rock glass, your face, but missile, magical leaf, brutal swing, whirlpool. This one sucks. Whirlpool is bad. Thunder wave. You can learn Poison Jab? Even our Poison type can't learn Poison Jab. User slams its target with its flame-covered body. The move, the more the user outweighs the target. Oh my God! It has to be Giga Cyclide. He's so heavy. He's so fat. Or place incinerate. Oh, his special attack is better. Replace flame charge then. Due to fire attack based on your weight? A minecart full of coal? Absolutely. Crunch is good. Crunch is strictly better than bite. I don't think it can flinch though. Okay. What, do I, what is this email? Ope! I <laughs> got a little spoiler of a Christmas gift. Let me tell him that. Alright. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and shield they, that stopped the disaster. The youths being crowned. Where else will we be? These tapestries tell the story of this creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? There's two heroes. Bang on, the statue at the hotel in Modestoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Man, this definitely isn't foreshadowing. Is that Naruto and Sasuke? I'm not gonna lie, the guy on the left kind of looked like a male version of Makoto Nijima. 
Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm sure for you to so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of you wins. <laughs> Alright, asshole. You're lucky you gave me Retaliate earlier, and that was super funny, because that was... I mean, you basically gave me $2,000, but nonetheless. Alright, well, that was a fucking whole lot of minor lore. Listen, people said the story for this game is super nothing, and there isn't much of an actual story so far, but I really, really like the world building, and I think it's doing a good job of building towards the something greater that's going to happen probably right at the end. I'm have I'm enjoying it. So we're teaming with Bade to stop Hop in the end game. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Gala region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Trey. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon, so go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stoan side. What kind of a... What a, what a fucking town name that is. There's a death of story. Your prediction is we team up with Bede to stop Hop in the endgame. Hop in the endgame. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to say is I think I've had Hop's character arc spoiled for me. By people who were arguing... It, by people arguing... Because there were people saying that it was nothing, and then there's other people that argue that it's not nothing, and them arguing that it's not nothing, I believe, spoiled Hop's character arc. I don't know, like, events that happen, but I think I know, like, what his character growth is. And based on what the champion told us in the last cutscene, I'm that makes me pretty confident I have in fact so Um That is a dirty sock. Oh, it's a it's a snake. What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. I've had this Pokemon spoiled for me, but I thought it was a bulldog. Like I've seen its face. So I'm pleasantly surprised it's a snake. It's our duty as Team Neil to make sure Silla Cobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep! Oh, hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Oh, that's very kind of them. I have no problem with these individuals, then. No, <laughs> hey, Trey, you're heading to Stillon's side, right? Are you okay, Hop? They're really just super fans. People don't get that. Oi, Team Yell! Don't suppose you'll let us through? No, you kids are way too loud. I can't be letting you through. <laughs> and we're particularly not fun of kids wearing the challenge ban. Well, I mean, you did this to yourself. With all your stomping around, so Cobra is sure to wake up. Okay, if these guys... If their Pokemon is level 35 or higher, we need to grind. If they're not, I think the Battle Cafe dude was just very strong himself. <laughs> right. What do you say, Trey? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge. It's still inside. Let's do it. You? Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are right too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silla Cobra now, do you? By Frosty Vamps, have you been here this whole time, or did you leave for a little bit? I swear these kids these days, we've got no choice. We gotta send you packing. How old are you? It's all for the sake of Silla Cobra. I respect that they're kind of barely Marty fans. They kind of just stay on everything. Battle Cafe was strong because that's the final gym. Stunky. What do you mean? I don't know. At one point, uh, chat showed me there was one viewer and you weren't saying anything, so I was just curious. Oh, this ain't bad. Let's do it. Hit that nuzzle. Faint, that's nothing. You got food? Okay. And my headphones died. I don't remember why I brought that up. There was a reason. Oh yeah, were you here for Mr. Missile? Like that revelation? Mr. Missile is a female. That's okay though. Uh, let's send in... No! I think Bug... I don't think Bug is weak to poison. Let's see Manta Bug in action.
Mantabub is weak to poison. Or they use dark. Right, Stunky has dark moves. I forgot about that. That's fine. One second. It's not Miss Missile. It's Mr. Missile. Get it right. She just likes being her idol. <laughs> she's just like being... She's just being like her idol, Chesterton. No, Chesterton was always female. We were just mistaken. Mr. Missile wants to be called Mr. Missile, and we will do as such. What the fuck am I sending out against this thing? Who needs levels? Maw of the Void does, even though you really don't. Revenge! You fool! Oh yeah! Hurt and heal! I forgot about that. Oh, you, you're a son of a bitch, Stunky. Dude, imagine if I forgot Aftermath existed, which I did, and it, like, killed someone right there. Nice. Get Nick Nastardly up. Send out your line, dude. I don't care. Pathetic. Dude. It's really... Amazon is really trying to spoil my friend's Christmas gift to me. Oh no, you used Home Claws instead of attacking me. Now I'll just hit you with revenge for free. You're dead. By the way, they're level 30. So it was legit just paddle. Linoon may have a form. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, yeah, Lightning Evolves. Was he one of the ones? I wasn't counting him because it's Gal or Zigzagoon. Was he one of the three other ones that weren't being mentioned? I did know about that. It's called Obstagoon. It was in one of the trailers. I think I'll leave this to you, Trey. Keep up the pace. Wait, I'm fighting again? He does evolve. Yeah, I know, it's Obstagoon. But was that one of the three you were mentioning? Which would mean there would be two I don't know about. Obstagoon looks cool as fuck. Yeah, it's like a kiss wrestler. I don't want to leave you in here. Yes. Okay, so there's two I don't know about. Uh, I can't send Mandibub in because this is a dark type. And I can't send Mr. Missile in because they are level 22. You already know about Darumaka. Does it? Oh, it gets an it gets another evolution. Cause you you told me there were three others that got evolutions, not three other Galar forms, is what you told me. Cause it should be Galarian Darumaka into Galarian Darmanitan, unless it's regular Darumaka into Galarian Darmanitan. In which case, you're right, that would be an evolution, and I just didn't realize it was a normal into an evolution. Why'd you have to be such a bother? So Cobra might wake up after all the ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome... Kids follow some other day. I don't know which one's the male and which one's the female. Okay, I think there's one left that may or may not be in this game. Oh. Trey, you and Toxel were brilliant together. See, Beat really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you gotta lose sometimes. The cops are coming. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. 
And I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Trey. Oh no, he woke up. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna head out. I don't know who's saying this. You're one of the gym leaders endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> my name's Opal! If you want to know more, you have a look at my lead card! The cops found out about Ness's death. I double checked. There's one alternate evolution left. Okay. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Isn't Opal a leader? Yes, I believe she might be the next one, considering we just ran into her.